Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. First things first, if my voice sounds weird, it's because I'm losing my voice. I swear like every Vlogmas, my voice starts to tank because I'm working so much here and in the salon and it's a whole thing. So I apologize. I promise the actual declutter portion will not sound like this. I'm gonna film that on a separate day. And second, you thought the declutter series was over, didn't you? Well, so did I, <laughs> but I realized I really need to go through my brushes. It's been a long, long, long time since I've done that and I figured I might as well film the process. I have no clue how many I have to start with. I have far too many things that I don't use and I would much rather curate it down to the things that I'm using more in my favorite brushes and just clean them more often. You know, I used to be someone who was like, I want 5,000 brushes so I don't have to clean them as much, but I find myself still wanting to use my favorite ones and I just still have to clean them more frequently, but it's more inconvenient because I have so many brushes. Of course, the little spiel, please do not get offended if I declutter your favorite brush. I cannot imagine someone getting offended by that, but you'd be surprised. <laughs> Number two, please don't ask me to send you anything. These are old brushes. Out of the ones I'm gonna declutter, if they're still any good, I'll give them to my close friends. Otherwise, they're just not good anymore, you know what I mean? If they're falling apart, they're not sticking around. And last but not least, of course, please do not feel pressured to declutter your collection if that is not what you need in your life. It's just what I need in mine. I like doing a little reset with my makeup at the end of the year and it's definitely time for me to do a reset on my brushes as well. Also before we get into it I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my Instagram and TikTok by the time this video goes up. And as far as my accessories today go I don't know where these earrings are from because they were a gift and I don't know where this choker is from. It's just a basic choker. So yeah without further ado let's just hop in and chat about my brushes. All right, friends, are you ready to dive into this brush declutter? I am a little intimidated, but I'm ready to get it over with. <laughs> Between my face and my eye brushes, I have 344 total, which I don't mind, because again, I do like having a variety, but I definitely have some brushes that I don't need. I feel like I'm kind of gonna be looking at this for four reasons, as far as like, what am I gonna declutter and what am I not? Number one would be, is it falling apart and just no longer good? Number two would be, is it just a shape that doesn't serve any purpose for me? Number three, is it a brush that I use all the time and it's my go-to? Or number four, is it a brush that I use but it's just not necessarily my go-to but I still wanna keep it kicking around? Every brush is gonna fall into one of those categories, so we are just gonna bust through it. And we're gonna start with my face brushes because I have less of those. We have 77 total, which is honestly way too many for face brushes for me at least just because I have tried and true favorites. I just have been collecting brushes for a very long time and I have very old brushes that no no longer mean anything to me. Let's start with my dense brushes. These are brushes that are like foundation, concealer, cream products, like anything that's super dense, not very fluffy. We have 20 of these. I do not need 20. I need literally less than five. So a lot of these are gonna go. These are the Sigma F47 brushes and it's honestly my go-to foundation brush now. Usually I use a sponge, but if I'm gonna use a brush, I really like this one. And I also enjoy this one for concealer because it kind of fits under the crevices of the eye nicely. Um, so I'm gonna keep both of these. Do I need two, probably not, but I like having options, like what if one is super dirty kind of thing. I've also been loving this Lethal Cosmetics 120 brush. It's a little small for foundation, but it's really nice for concealer. I like this kind of weird shape. Um, so I wanna keep this one as well. Then on the days that I maybe want something for concealer, but I don't want that lethal shape, I do wanna keep something kind of like this, like just small and dense. So this is an alter ego number four. I'm gonna keep this one as well. Let me clear out some ones that I don't need. Um, anything Morphe I really don't need to keep. I have some very old Morphe brushes. This was an OG, the M439. I loved this brush for years, but I don't need it anymore. Same with this alter ego number two brush. It's just not really serving me a purpose anymore. Like I don't really use this one, so I don't need it. I don't really need this Luxie one since I'm keeping those Sigma one. This is a 532. I did like this one, but I just don't need it anymore. It's getting a little old anyway. Same with this random one, similar shape. I don't even know where this is from. There's no name written on it. This is a Beauty in the Base brush from MOTD Cosmetics. Again, similar shape. It's kind of like an in-between size of the ones that I'm keeping, but I just don't really need this one either. Same with this Supermodel Sculpt. Since I'm keeping that Alter Ego one, I don't really need this one. Although, which one do I like better? Kind of like this one better, actually. It's a little bit smaller little more dense, and it's not as used as the Alter Ego. I think I'll actually keep the MOTD one. I do actually like this like dense stipply brush for cream blush. This is a Sigma F53, um, and I wanna have a brush like this on deck as well. Same with this very <laughs> used, clearly, like this brush handle is destroyed, but this Rare Beauty one I actually really like for cream bronzer as well. Again, usually I would use a sponge, but 
on the off chance. I think this is actually kind of nice. Here's a Morphe E8. Again, similar brush shape to ones that I'm keeping. I don't really need to keep this one. And this Morphe E7. I used to use this for like cream blush back in the day. Clearly it's very stained, um, but I don't need this one anymore. I don't really need this Luxie 680 either because I'm keeping that uh, Rare Beauty one, but this is a similar vibe to that. I'd probably use this for like cream bronzer or cream contour, something like that. I forgot about this old Kaleidos brush. This must have come out like a long, long, long time ago. Um, I don't really love this shape. Like, I don't think I'd really gravitate towards this because it's a little too fluffy for cream in my opinion, but it's a little too dense for powder. So I'm gonna give this one away as well. We have an angled dense brush. I don't really have an angled one that I'm keeping besides the Stipoli Sigma one. So maybe I'll keep this one too, the Unearthly Cosmetics 8-1. I'd probably use this for cream blush or something as well. The Sigma 4D HD Kabuki. I forgot that I even had this. <laughs> Truly forgot that I had this. Um, this is like a popular brush. I think I might keep it just to use again because I literally forgot that I had this. And then we have this ColourPop one, the F29 that I really don't need either. Um, clearly I used it for blush because it's stained, <laughs> um, but I think I'm good there. Just realized I forgot one. Um, this is a very old, clearly wet and wild, small dense brush. Not keeping this either. Started with 20 of those, decluttered 12. Now I have eight, much better. Let's move on now to my small powder brushes. This is my go-to kind of brush for setting my under eyes. I don't really use this brush for anything else. Um, I have 17, don't need 17 at all. I've been loving this Lethal Cosmetics 115 lately. The shape is just perfect, so I'm gonna keep it. Maybe I'll keep this Luxie 522 as well. It's supposed to be a tapered highlight brush, but I use this for setting my under eyes. I think this is the same thing, but the name's rubbed off, so I don't need two. Again, don't really need any old Morphe brushes. This was an E53. Ooh, I do wanna keep this Sigma one, the F12. I like this one as well. And honestly, I think I'm pretty set no pun intended, with these three, so I don't need any of these other ones. This is, I guess, supposed to be a highlight brush, actually, from Midas, but this is a little too big for that. Don't need that. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. I don't know what the number is because it's not written on it. Don't need that. This is a B1 blush brush, but again, the shape is more under eye setting powder for me from Kaleidos. Don't need this. Luxie 514. I don't need this one either. This Luxie 660. Clearly, I used this for green at one point. <laughs> Don't need this one. ColourPop F30 and F32. Don't need these either. Juno & Co ES16. Don't need it. BH Cosmetics number two. Who remembers this collection? The, what was it called? Like the, it was one of those festival collections back in the day. Oh, that's so funny. That takes me back. Don't need that. I'm tempted to keep this 516 from Luxie just because it's very stipply. And I'm not really keeping anything else quite like this. So I think I will keep this one just in case I need it. Random Black Moon Cosmetics brush. Way too big to be an eyeshadow brush, but too small to really do anything else. And finally, the 660 from Luxie. Don't need this one either. I have plenty. All right, started with 17, decluttered 13. Now I have four. Let's move on to my larger powder brushes. Here we are, we have 10 of these. This is what I would use to set like the perimeters of my face, usually with my NYX High Glass Powder, just to like cover a large surface area fast. Obviously you could use something like this, but this just gets the job done quicker. Let's see, my favorites. I love this F25. It's so big and fluffy, it's wonderful. I also really like this new Lethal one I got, the 100, super big and fluffy. And I think those are the only two I need. This is a ColourPop F28. This was my go-to for a while, but this one's getting kind of old and I like the other two better now. ColourPop is really good for brushes though if you want like some affordable options. Oh, I like this Sigma one too though. They're not the same. Gosh, I'm gonna keep both of these, the F25 and the F24. <laughs> Especially because actually, I'd probably more so use this for bronzer. Keep that in the back of your mind. I think I'm gonna save this more for bronzer. I like this kind of tapered effect that the F24 doesn't have. Um, so yeah, keeping this one for powder, this one for bronzer later. And everything else I don't need, the Set and Go from MOTD, another no-name brush, a number one from Alter Ego, a Morphe E41, an Elf Flawless Face Brush, and the Morphe G7. All right, started with 10 of those, decluttered seven, now I have three. Let's move on to bronzer now. All right, we have five here, I guess technically six if you count the one that I already kept from the last round, but five here in front of me. And since I already know I'm keeping one, I think I'm only keeping two more of these that I really like. This is the Lethal 105. Slightly different shape than that Sigma one. It's a little bit like flatter and fatter. Um, so it gives me some variety just depending on what I'm in the mood for. And then I do also like this Rare Beauty one if I want something maybe a little more tapered but still fluffy. 
so I'll keep this one also. And I do not need these three, the Morphe R2, the ColourPop F1, this was actually my go-to for a while, and this BH Cosmetics number one brush. This is just my favorite kind of a shape for <laughs> bronzer. All right, from that, started with five, decluttered three, left with two. Let's do blush next. I love a tapered blush brush. Like this is my favorite, that's what all of these are, all eight of these. I do not need eight though. Love this lethal one, love the lethal brushes in case you can't tell, this is the one 10, definitely keeping it. I also love this Sigma F40. It's just such a good brush. This is probably my favorite blush one. I have a mini F40 as well. And as much as I like this brush, I don't really need both. And minis don't really serve me much of a purpose. Like they don't make traveling easier or anything for me. So I'll give this one to a friend. And honestly, I probably only need those two. I'm debating keeping this unearthly one just because it's a little bit smaller as far as the shape goes. Yeah, I'll keep this unearthly one too. I like these brushes. This is the 8-2. These other ones I do not need. The BH Cosmetics number three, the MOTD Get Cheeky With It, the Morphe E4, and the Alter Ego number three. Started with eight, decluttered five, kept three, Let's move on to highlight brushes now. All right, I have six of these. Um, lately, I've really been liking this one, this tiny fan brush, the 125 from Lethal. I'm not usually a fan brush person, but I like how small and dense this one is, so I'm gonna keep it. If I want a really dense highlight brush, the H2 from Kaleidos is my go-to for sure. The H1 was their old highlight brush, which, ugh, which one do I like more? I mean, I guess they're super similar and I've been using the newer one more. So I'll keep the H2 and declutter the H1. And then we have three of just these like fluffy highlight brushes. My go-to out of these is this one, the ColourPop F33. And I'll pass along the BH Cosmetics number four and the Morphe M501. Gosh, hearing some of these old Morphe names takes me back to early YouTube days. Getting into some miscellaneous ones really quick. I have four paint brushes. I simply just don't use these for any reason. This is a random Morphe MB9. This is just a no-name Morphe brush. This is a Luxie 510 and this is a ColourPop F17. I just don't have a use for these so I don't need them. And last for face brushes, finally, um, I have seven just like miscellaneous brushes. I didn't know what category to put these in. Um, I do want to keep this one from Kaleidos. It's new. It came with the contour trios and I actually really like it for contour. It's like angled and small and stipply and I'm going to keep it. It's weird, but I like it. Don't need this old elf electric mood stipple brush. It's clearly falling apart anyway. Don't really need this ColourPop F31. It's not really serving me a purpose. Same with this dual ended Odin's eye brush. I just don't really reach for dual ended brushes very much, especially face brushes. So I'm going to pass this along. I totally forgot I had this. This tiny rare beauty one, like this is supposed to be for like concealer. I'm pretty sure. I just don't really use this, but maybe I'd find a use for it because I don't have anything this small and dense. I'll keep this one in my back pocket just in case. Gosh, I've been using this one, but it is Sir Sheds a lot. If you can't tell, it's awful. I've been using this to blend out my primer on my skin, but it's disgusting to use. Like, it sheds like crazy. I'm over it. I might keep this e.l.f. one though, this putty primer one, because this one is a little denser and it doesn't seem like it's going to be Sir sheds a lot. So maybe I'll keep this one to blend out my primer. I mean, I use my hands a lot of the time, but certain ones like the Halo Glow, like they're just so slippy and slick feeling. Um, I'd rather use a brush. All right, out of those last ones, started with seven, decluttered four. Now I have three. Let me get my face brush totals for you. All right, out of my face brushes, started with 77, decluttered 51. Now I have 26. I still don't love that I have eight dense face brushes, but I like all the ones that I kept. So I'm just gonna keep them. I think I'm good. We're gonna move on now to the many eye brushes I have. The 267 to be exact, but I do have all of these broken down into categories as well to hopefully make this move along a little bit easier. Okay, okay. I'm back. Um, I do not need two of the F47s from Sigma as much as I feel like I want to keep both. I don't need both, like at all. Like I need to just clean my brushes more often. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna give one of these to a friend. So that knocks those numbers down by one. Okay, moving on. Last pop in, I swear. I really don't need this like stipply duo fiber Luxie 516 either. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't really use a brush like this. So adjust those numbers one more time. <laughs> All right, moving into eyeshadow brushes. Again, 267 to start with. I don't have a goal in particular. I guess I'd like to get it closer to like between 150 and 200, like 150 would be even better. And I think I can get close because there's a lot of brushes in here I don't need. Again, old Morphe brushes. I know I have some old Wet n Wild brushes I don't care about, just brushes in general that I'm not using, some that are falling apart, stuff like that. 
And honestly, I'm having fun with this. I was kind of dreading doing another declutter video, um, but this is very therapeutic and I feel really good clearing out some of my brushes. It feels really nice. We're starting with my fluffier blending brushes specifically. I have 45 of these. So I'm gonna start by just picking out the ones that I know I don't want anymore and then we'll go from there. Old Morphe E23, don't need that. My other Morphe is an E13, don't need that either. Okay, well that didn't knock it down as much as I thought it would. <laughs> Let me pull out my absolute favorites now real quick. Sigma E38, love that. By the way, all of these brushes, like this is what I would use to fluff something in the crease. I meant to like explain like what I like to use each type of brush for. Fluffing in the crease, diffusing the edges, stuff like that. Bigger, fluffier, not as precise things. Love these Kaleidos brushes. I don't think they're available anymore and I wish they'd bring them back. This is the S2. I just really I one brush was in the wrong spot, so this is actually 44 brushes, not 45. <laughs> Another Kaleidos one, the S1, definitely keeping. Sigma E45, I love this one. This Lethal 200 is wonderful. I actually really like the Palladopoly brushes from Ace Beauté, the P1 and P2. I think they're pretty fantastic. I love these Gavisi brushes as well, the 212 and the 210. They are so fluffy and good. I have four ColourPop E2s, and I like this blending brush. I think it's nice. I also have a ColourPop E22, which I also enjoy. Some random ones are this purple SL Miss Glam and this green Olimar brush, I think from BoxyCharms years ago, but I actually really like them. I like the fluffiness. I like these three brushes from MOTD Cosmetics as well. I think they're just fluffy and nice pretty standard brushes. I have three of the Spectrum C06s and this one Conceal Your Secret from MOTD back here. All kind of the same, like a denser blending brush and I just don't really like using this kind of a blending brush so I'm gonna get rid of these as well. This is harder to decide than I thought. Like there's just so many to choose from. I have five Spectrum B06s and I do still really enjoy this brush. This was my favorite brush brand for a while um, and these ones are still holding up nicely. Various Alter Ego ones that are still working good. The original one and two before they redid their brushes two fives right here and a six. Um, they're all still fluffy and they work nice. I do like this Odin's Eye FR1. It's very, very soft and fluffy. This random Juno & Co. and Elf J Kissa brush are still really good and fluffy as well. I have two easier ones from Game Beauty and I think this is a nice brush also. And I think these last four I can live without. We have an OMFG brush. I don't know what this brush is because the name's rubbed off. This is a scone brush, probably from a boxy charm, and this is an old Elf brush. So I'll get rid of these as well. All right, so 44 in that segment. Got rid of 10, still have 34, and I'm good with that. It's a very common brush that I use. Another commonly used brush are like these tapered blending brushes. It has a little bit of fluffiness. This allows me to kind of pack shadow like on my crease a little bit, a little bit on the lid as well, and also do a little bit of blending. Kind of a good in-between brush for like a packing brush and a blending brush. I love this kind of a brush. I use it all the time. And I have 20 of these. And again, I just want to kind of pick out my favorites, least favorites, stuff like that. Favorites for sure are these two E27s from Sigma and this E25, like probably one of my most used brushes ever. This 210 from Lethal is also pretty great. This Gavisi G206 is wonderful. This E1, E23 and No Name ColourPop brushes are pretty good still too. I like the Odin's Eye FR3. This Kaleidos S three is good too. As much as I like Spectrum brushes, for some reason the A08s, like maybe it's just a little too dense, but I don't seem to reach for these ones as much, so I'll pass these along. The Alter Egos number one and two number sevens, I like these too. Also these Miss Shady Lady brushes from MOTD are good as well. I do still like this J Kissa Elf brush too, but this OMFG one is kind of falling apart a little bit. Some of the bristles are like falling off like when I use it and stuff, so I'll pass this one along as well. All right, out of those 20, decluttered four, kept 16, moving on now now to my angled blending brushes. I have 13 of these. This is exactly what it sounds like. It has a little bit of an angle to it. I love packing in the outer corner with this, especially if I want more of an angled look with my eye look. Um, I love these kinds of brushes. I use them frequently as well. These two tiny ones I use a lot, the Unearthly 8-3 and the Luxie 131. I use these very frequently, so I'm keeping these. This Lethal 205 is fatter, but I do still really enjoy it. These Alter Ego number 10s I use as well. Same with the Game Beauty E03s. I have five B04s from Spectrum. Um, I'll keep these also, and I guess I'll also keep this final one, the Luxie 207. So keeping all of those, I didn't have a problem with any of them. Let's get a little more detailed now with small blending brushes. Now these aren't quite pencil brushes, but they're a little fluffier than that, but they're also not as big and fluffy as the first blending brushes we talked about in the eye segment. I have 32 of these. I also use these a lot for precision work. Oops, this one does not belong here. Let me put this somewhere else. So 31 of these. Um, let's get rid of some that I know I don't need. I have some Wet n Wild and Morphe's that are no longer serving me a 
purpose. Three old wet and wild ones, very beyond their point of no return. Morphe E17 and M506, I don't need these either. All right, now let's go through some of my favorites. The Blend Bunny brushes are top tier. I have three B4s and I'm keeping them. I also have three B5s, keeping these also. And I have three B1s that I'm keeping. Oop, another Morphe one E17 that I don't need. This Sigma E36 I'm obsessed with, like this gets so deep in the crease. I love how precise it is. Same with this G208. I love this one. We have another guy that does not belong here. We'll revisit this one later. I have five various like tapered blending brushes and pointed eye brushes and I really like all of these. I think they're all pretty good. They're nice and soft and they get really precise for me. This Odin's Eye FR2 is nice, just nice and fluffy but still small. Same with this Luxie 229. I like this one too. And this Unearthly 8-7. I just love this long but fluffy combination. I use this Luxie 121 fairly frequently as well. This random old Odin's Eye one I'm not really getting used out of. I think the shape's kind of weird. It's like too dense, but not like small enough for it to be super precise like a pencil brush. So I'll give this one away. And then I just have these random like MOTD Cosmetics, Elf Crease Brush, and ColourPop Brush E9. I feel like I'm happier with the ones that I'm keeping than these ones bring me. So I'll give these ones away as well. So out of the 30, after I corrected the two brushes that didn't belong in there, Brushes to start with, I decluttered 10, now I have 20. Let's move on now to my pencil brushes. This is basically what you imagine it would be for, super small, dense, good for like lower lash line stuff or very, very, very dense, precise work like in the outer crease area, stuff like that, like the outer corner. Um, I use these under my waterline like every single day. I have 35 of these. Again, some of my favorites. I have three Blend Bunny B2s and three Blend Bunny B3s, keeping those. Really like this 220 from Lethal. I love this Sigma E30 and this Unearthly 8-6. I think they're super precise. Same with the Gavisi 202, super, super pointy and small. Old Morphe E18 I don't need. Again, love these Kaleidos brushes, the S5. This Palladopoly one from Ace Butte, the P4 is good too. The E27 and E28 from ColourPop are nice as well. This Luxie 141 is good too. I like how round and dense it is. I have five Spectrum A12s that I will also keep. Two Alter Ego 11s and an Alter Ego 7 that I will keep. Odin's Eye FR6 is nice as well. ColourPop E21 is good. Two random old Morphe brushes, the E36 and the MB18 that I do not need. BH Cosmetics and Elf J Kissa brushes. These are fine. I'll keep these as well. And I like this teeny tiny Illamasqua one. I think this one's really soft and good too. These other ones, another random Illamasqua. We have an Elf one, a Pixie one, and an old ColourPop one. Either the shape isn't quite right or it's just getting kind of old and I don't need it. So I'll get rid of these as well. All right, so out of 35 of those, decluttered eight and I have 27. All right, moving now into my packing brushes. This is just your basic packing eyeshadow on the actual lid. These aren't like my cut creasy brushes or anything. These are just my basic like eyeshadow brushes. I have 40 of these. Um, let's see what I can do with this. The Sigma E55s are pretty amazing, so I'm keeping those. I love this Lethal 215. I love this Unearthly 8-5. Oops, I had one cut creasy brush. I'm gonna put that aside for now. I like this Gavisi G204. The Odin's Eye FR4 and FR5 are nice. I like how small and dense they are. I love this Luxie 213. It's so small and dense. I also really enjoy the Game Beauty E02 and E04s. I have two of each. I have three old wet and wild brushes that I do not need anymore. ColourPop E25 and E26, I'll keep these as well. These Alter Ego 4 and 5 I actually use quite a lot, so I'll keep these also. Same with the Alter Ego number 6, I like how it's more precise. These Spectrum A07s, A05, and this ColourPop E7, these are just a little too fat and dense for me. Like this isn't what I typically reach for, so I'll pass these along. Same with these Alter Ego number 9s, I don't know what it is, there's just something about it. It's just a little short, fat, and dense. Like. I don't reach for this as much. Like I want something just slightly either bigger or fluffier or something. Like there's some combination of this that I don't sit great with. Like this super dense one, it's from Pixie. It's very old. Like there's something about it. It's like small and dense. The other one was like fat and dense. Like, I don't know. I like this better though. <laughs> I have a few no name brushes from old boxy charms that like, they work fine, but I don't really want to keep these anymore. They're just getting kind of old and dingy, so I'll pass these along. These two SL Miss Glam brushes from BoxyCharms, though, are still, like, kicking pretty nice. Like, they're still fluffy and good, so I'll keep these. I'll keep this Elf J Kissa brush. I'll keep this Spectrum A13 as well. And then these two from Vintage Cosmetic Company, these are also just getting kind of old. They aren't really in their prime anymore, so I don't need these either. Okay, so miscounted in the beginning, started with 38 of those. I decluttered 16, and now I have 22. Let's do my cut creasy brushes next. 
All right, 22 cut creasy brushes. These are the kinds of brushes I use for like, just getting really precise doing cut creasy work, getting a really precise crease. That's what I would use these for. They're all very flat. Some are more dense than others, and some of these I don't use anymore, so let's figure that out. Well, this old wet and wild one doesn't need to stay around, so that's one. This Illamasqua one is obnoxiously big, but I actually use this one more often than I would expect, uh, so I'll keep this one. These three Spectrum A16s I use a lot as well. This is an old Morphe one whose name I can't even tell because it's like rubbing off, MB10 maybe. Um, I don't need this one. Two ColourPop E4s and E3, and then this no-name one. This no-name one scratches me a lot, so I don't want this one anymore, um, but I'll keep the other three. Same with this E24, I'll keep this one as well. This Kaleidos S4, it's like kind of fluffier, but it still like can get really flat and I still use this one, um, but it is a little more awkward. So I think I'll actually pass this one along. The Unearthly 8-8 and 8-9 are some of my favorites for cut creasy stuff. This Lethal 225 is really good as well. I also quite enjoy these two Alter Ego number eights. I also have this Juno & Co one, this Palidopoly Ace Beauté P3, and this Olimar one. I use these ones pretty frequently also. And then I don't think I really need these. This Elf one is just like, there's something about it that I don't love. And then this ColourPop one is just getting really old. The EA, it's just not in its prime anymore. All right, started with 22, got rid of six. Now I have 16. Let's do my dual ended brushes next. I have 12 of these. I resort to these a lot when my brushes are getting dirty because it's like a two for one, but a lot of these are just not good anymore. I am keeping these two Sigma ones where it's half E54 and half E38. Um, these are wonderful. I will keep these. And the only other one worth keeping for me is this Luxie 249. I think it's still pretty nice. I like the packing side. I can do cut creasy stuff if I want. And then this fluffy side is really good. But all these other ones, they're just various like old Urban Decay brushes and ABH brushes. And they're just like not great anymore. So I don't need any of these. And I need to stop relying on these when my brushes get dirty and I need to just clean my brushes. So that one was satisfying. Started with 12, decluttered nine. Now I have three. And finally, we're gonna do my miscellaneous brushes. All right, I have 52 of these. Various eyeliner brushes, spoolie brushes, angled brushes random things like that. I literally don't even know where to start. Let me just pick a category. Well, this is an old Morphe one I don't need, so I'll pass this along. Same with this one. Clearly it's very old too. Here's another old Morphe one, M432. Do not need. I think this was an MB16 at one point from Morphe. Don't need this one. I don't need this E19 from Morphe. Okay, I have a fair amount of these little dense ones. Lethal 230, very good for like inner corner stuff. Same with these two from Game Beauty, the E05. Really don't need this many, but I'll keep all three of these. And with that, because I don't need a million of those brushes specifically, because I can reuse the same one for a very long time, um, I'll pass along this Alter Ego and ColourPop one, the E25 and the 8. I have these two from e.l.f. I actually use these a lot when I'm doing like a big winged liner. I use this to help fill in the wing usually because it's super dense and precise. So I'll keep these. I have another one of those elf ones that I'll keep as well. I have a fair amount of little like tiny angled liner brushes. I love this Unearthly 8-10. I'll keep this one. I love this teeny tiny little blend bunny one. It's fantastic. Same with this Sigma E06. So, so tiny and precise. This Lethal 235 is pretty great as well. These KVD and Illamasqua ones kind of hurt actually. Like the point on them like kind of stabs me. So I don't want those. I'll keep this ColourPop E6. It's still pretty good. However, this ColourPop E30 is getting like a little fat. It's not as precise anymore. And I'll keep the Elf J Kissa one because it's still pretty precise. Some of these other ones are either just getting a little bit old, a little bit fat. I have an MOTD, a no name, a spectrum, and another no name. So there's that. I have a few spoolie-esque brushes. I use these two alter ego ones, the number 12s, a lot. These ones right here. So I'll keep these. I use these for my brows usually to help clean up with concealer or to use pomade, whatever I feel like using. And I guess I'll keep just these two spoolies. This one's from e.l.f. and this one's from Aesthetica. I don't even know what that is. I don't know where I got that one. Probably a boxy charm. But I'll keep those just in case I need just a blank spoolie. Well, really, I don't need both. I'll keep the e.l.f. one. And then these other ones I just don't really need. Just various like e.l.f ones, I'm pretty sure. A couple flat, smudgy under eye brushes. We have the ColourPop E11, this Olimar one, and the Elf J Kissa. Um, I guess I'll keep all three of these because I don't really have a lot, clearly, so I'll keep these. I have various precise eyeliner brushes. I'm keeping these three for sure, the GV12, the GV8, and the GV10. Um, this was also Gavisi, but this was back when they were called Glam Vice. This one's just getting a little frayed. It's not as precise anymore. But as you can see, these three are still super skinny and precise, so I'll keep those. I also have this Unearthly 8-11, 
and this Lethal 240. I'll keep both of those. This Illa Masca one, it's just a little fat. Like it's just slightly too fat for me. So I'll pass this one along. Same with this old Sigma one that I don't even know where I got this one. This is just a weird brush. I don't need it. And these old, old, old Tarte brushes are so frayed. They have seen their day. There's nothing precise about them. I have these two paint brushes from Gavisi, the GV20 and the GV18. Part of me wants to keep them because I just don't have anything like this, but I don't use this. And if I need a paintbrush that bad, I'll literally go buy one. Um, so I'll pass these along as well. This Lexi 111, um, I could have probably put this with the pencil brushes. It's just kind of an odd shape, but I use this one a lot as well. And then we just have like this lip brush, which I do not use lip brushes. Like I don't care if my lip products are broken. I don't use them. This is also a lip brush that I don't use, this weird brush that I don't even know what I would use this for. And then this Rare Beauty one that, I think it's meant for like those liquid shadows, but I don't really use stuff like that. So I don't need any of these. All right, that one was pretty successful as well. Started with 52, decluttered 28. Now I have 24. Um, let me get all of those eye brush totals for you and then I'll get my grand totals. All right, so for my eye brushes, started with 266. I thought it was 267, it was actually 266. Um, I decluttered 91, so I have 175 left. So that's pretty much what I wanted. I said between 150 and 200 and that's right smack dab in the middle. And then my grand total started with 343, not 344, because again, I miscounted, but 343 decluttered 144 total and I'm left with 199 brushes on the dot, so. I feel good, like I got rid of things that I'm not using. Looking at the brushes next to me, it feels a lot more just what I like. So that's nice, I don't have like clutter brushes anymore, which is good. And I have some pictures for you. Here are the 343 brushes that I started with. This was a pain to take a picture of. Here are the 144 things that I decluttered. And here are the 199 brushes that I am keeping. Hope you liked this video. Uh, let's zoom out and finish this up. Thank you so much for watching my brush collection and declutter video. Croaky Betty Jean is back. I hope I don't sound as bad as I think I sound. My goodness. Goodness. I would love to hear your thoughts though. What are your absolute favorite brushes? What are your favorite brands for brushes? What are your go-tos? I would love to chat down below. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave one of those little paintbrush emojis? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting every single day in December. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. Hello, <laughs> oh my gosh, my voice. Ugh. And I like wore green today. I'm literally a frog. <laughs> my voice.